Again, please remember, remember that final action on this case tonight will be heard Tuesday, June the 12th at the Lowndes County Judicial and Administrative Complex at 327 North Ashley Street in the Commission Chambers at 5.30 p.m. Staff, would you present case REZ 2012-09, please? Yes, sir. Um, first case that we have before us is for Mr. Copeland. And the subject property is located off of Lock Lowell Road. And the request that's before you is to take a portion of that property. And that is an update. Um, the portion that's depicted within the packet that I gave you that includes a new survey of about a five-acre piece of that subject property. And so the request is to rezone that five-acre portion of the subject property to what's called Crossroads Commercial Zone, which is one of our commercial zonings in our PAL. With that, staff did review this case, and I believe if you look at the current zoning pattern, which is RA and R1, or residential agricultural, and single family residential, low density residential, R1, and future plans, um, staff, planning staff did have concerns about the CC zoning, basically because of the location of existing residences. Now, from a planning standpoint, that's what we looked at. What makes this case harder, um, not only is the fact that the future development map does support CC zoning where appropriate, so there's a debate there, but also the history of the case. The history of the case with Mr. Copeland, um, this is not a new use. He's not proposing to do something new on the property. It's just he's had um, a history of not operating uh, with current zoning. I think Mr. Copeland is well grounded in his, his business licenses, his occupational tax licenses for what he was trying to do. Uh, however, it didn't comply with the zoning district. Part of that falls on the county for enforcement. Uh, part of that is a compliment to Mr. Copeland about the way he operated. Uh, but that is a snapshot of some of the history you're going to get. So what makes this case challenging, I believe, is, is the history with it. Um, it was so challenging, it split staff. You see the TRC vote there was not unanimous. Uh, with that, we do believe it's ready for the planning commission's consideration tonight. Uh, I know Mr. Copeland is in the audience, should you have any specific questions. But beyond that, the major update is the survey, which you see on the screen. And also, I tried to depict it here um, on an aerial where you could actually see how that would fit in. But ultimately, that survey is the largest update that I can give you. I do believe it's ready for your consideration, and I'll be happy to entertain any questions you might have. Thank you. Are there any questions for staff?